As the political season heats up, the Electoral Commission says 45 people have so far expressed interest in contesting in the presidential election. The aspirants include three women and one of the sons of Uganda's third president, Idi Amin. Jotham Taremwa, the spokesperson of the Electoral Commission, says most of the current aspirants are independents. There is no one who has picked the nomination forms yet. They have just expressed interest that they want to consult. And if somebody comes and says, I want to consult to stand for president, we don't say no for you, don't consult. One of the aspirants, Lieutenant General Henry Tumkunde, says there is need for a new law to facilitate the proposed campaign method. Are we in a position to conduct an election? And in any case, is it the most important thing we must do? You cannot change elections without, even the method of campaigning, without changing the law. I want Ugandans for once to take these matters very serious. This government is here because there was a mismanaged election. However, Taremwa says the 2020-2021 electoral roadmap was designed within the framework of the law. The problem is that some people, based on personal sentiments, they tend to challenge things, even when they have no legal basis. Fortunately or unfortunately, court has to listen and determine those petitions. Tum Kunde, who is currently out on bail, is battling treason charges and an unlawful possession of firearms and ammunition charges. He says he has been consulting with other opposition politicians, including Dr. Kiza Besige and Honorable Robert Chagulani, on a way out of the current political impasse. We shall sit with the opposition and decide a course of action. And I actually propose that we first sit with the Electoral Commission, give deeper details about our views. If the opposition does not agree, then I'll decide the course for myself and my people. The general wonders if the Electoral Commission is in position to hold a credible election if the partial lockdown continues. In the last election, for example, you know very well that the electoral material reached to Wakiso here, 2 o'clock. Now, if there is social distancing, if there are all these many now encumbrances, including a curfew. Now, if there is now delivering all these materials to different centers, how are you going to do it? Yesterday, the EC met the National Consultative Forum of Political Parties and Organizations, where the latter presented similar grievances to the electoral body. In his last address, the president said that we are entering a dangerous phase of the pandemic as a country. So if it happens that a few months down the road, there is need for another lockdown, what will happen to the voting process? Gillian Nantume, NTV.